Hi everybody, I'm the Reluctant Reviewer and it's another gloomy day, so you're in luck. I'm going to do another review. It's not going to be a real long withdrawn one. It's about a series of dolls. They are the Lottie dolls. They're made by a company called Arc Blue. They are from the UK and I have them right here and they're a really nice little set of dolls. If you go to Lottie.com, it has a lot of fun activities, a lot of um, sheets that you can download off your computer, um, things to do with your child regarding science, regarding crafts, a lot of little fun things to do. Uh, Lottie's goal is for a child to be a child, a little girl to be a little girl. It uses a lot of um, uh, heroines in, in children's books uh, to get its ideas from uh, Joe from Little Women, uh, Anne of Green Gables, um, anything that has a strong female character. It has Lottie be the adventurous one. So you have Lottie in tons of, of fun little adventures and they take place on an island called, let me look at my note, Branksy. So this is not a real place, but it's a place based off an island in the UK. So this is where Lottie's adventures all occur. The Lottie series of dolls is going to start having chapter books, which is supposed to be in 2015. Now I don't know if there's a time change between when it starts in the UK to when it starts in the US, but you can probably look at Lottie.com and maybe it'll keep you updated as to when these chapter books come out. I love it when dolls tie in with books. I think that's a great thing. I'm a lover of reading and a lover of dolls. Okay, so let me tell you about these little girls here. First I'll give you their names and I've got my cheat sheet, so don't yell at me, I can't memorize everything. Okay, this is Autumn Leaves Lottie. This is Rockabilly Lottie. This is Stargazer Lottie. You can tell she has her telescope. This is Muddy Puddles Lottie. And the newest addition to the Lottie family that a lot of people wanted to have was a little boy introduced because little girls play with little boys at school. You know, when I was young, there were always a few little boys that you played with. You know, they just didn't mind hanging out with a bunch of chicks. Um, so this is Finn. So we'll look at the first one too. First, luckily I got them all standing. That is one of uh, Lottie's big things is that the dolls stand by themselves. If I pound on the table, we might not be so well. But right now I've got them all standing and I'm very happy. Now if you look at Autumn Lee's Lottie, you can see the detail. She has lots of clothes. Look at these clothes. They're all tactile. This is very felt. Then you have a little corduroy skirt. So if, if you have a child that you know, loves to touch things, I mean this is really great. The Lotties come in all different skin tones, they come in different hair color, different eye color, but the pieces, I, am, I just marvel at the amount of stuff that you get that you can swap and play. She doesn't have to have her coat on, she can just have her t-shirt on. She has a scarf. I love the striped tights and she's wearing boots and the boots have a tactile feel to them. So it's really cool. I may not get her to stand back when I put her there, but it's okay because I have a lot of dolls that don't stand by themselves, so if she doesn't, it's not a uh, bad thing. Um, she has bendable knees, and the, actually you hear it click like a, an old-fashioned Barbie doll. You can feel it click, so she has one, two, two clicks on both sides. Now her arms only go up and down and in and out. I'm sorry in the background, the neighbor has the lawn guys there, so it's making a little bit of noise. If I didn't have my dog snoring, I get the lawnmower sound. Sorry about that. Um, on the clothes, you can see uh, the attention to detail. This is sewn in, it's a little button, it doesn't really open, but um, it has little pockets on the coats. You have to have pockets. And let's see if you can put her hand in the pocket. Her hand does go in the pocket. I love that. Now, as I was saying about her arms, her arms only go down, out, in. Um, there is nothing at the elbow, no special bend like the knee. So that is just a little bit disappointing. Even if she had her wrists that you could kind of like turn back and forth, I think that would be really cool. It would probably cost more money for them to make her, but um, I think you would have more 
picture opportunities with it. So I'm not even going to try to stand her up. But I love the hat. The hat has little uh, panda ears on it or bear ears. The colors are, are vibrant. She has a little dog sticker on her t-shirt. I love the striped scarves. It's just adorable. And this is a long sleeve t-shirt, so you can see it peeking out from under her coat. A rockabilly. Oh, she is just to die for. She's got her little 50 sunglasses and her, her Letterman sweater with the letter L on it for Lottie. Um, all the dolls have the same jointing. The knees double click. Um, so that's the same. She's wearing another t-shirt and it's a two-tone t-shirt. It's a long sleeve t-shirt, two different colors. It shows little music on it. She has her sunglasses, her bow. She has long brown hair. She's got the little skirt and those adorable striped leggings again with gym shoes. It is so cute. If you're gonna buy a Lottie, buy her because she's adorable. Okay, Stargazer. Stargazer Lottie also has a ton of clothes. You have fur on the little coat. You have velveteen on the coat, fur on the inside, a lining. She's wearing uh, overalls with her striped. She's got those funky boots on that are tactile again. And these boots, they have the slit in the back so that you can just pull them on and put them on her foot so it's easy to get off and on. She has a hat and a scarf. The attention to clothing detail is really great in this line. I mean, her head, her head, it only goes back and forth, which is okay. Um, her, her, her head is actually a pretty thick piece. It's not soft vinyl, but she's adorable. She has a little bit of lip color, not a lot. All the Lottie dolls, they don't have makeup. They don't wear jewelry and um, they don't wear high heels. So if you've got a party doll, she's wearing her gym shoes, which is adorable. But a stargazer comes with a hat, which is so cute, and the scarf, like I said. It is adorable. I mean, the amount of clothing you get. If you have a group of dolls like I have on the table, just think of all the possibilities you could have changing their clothes. It's adorable. And like I said, she comes with a telescope. This is so cool because she's going to go watch the stars. Okay, this one is Muddy Puddles. She's got a raincoat on and it has a striped lining in it. And again, she has corduroy, corduroy shorts. And she has a long sleeve t-shirt on and blue and white striped leggings and adorable, adorable little uh, rain boots. It's, I mean, it's just, I just love the clothing alone. Lotties are boxed in a very nice way. It's a regular box. On the back, it tells you what kind of storyline it is. This is for Stargazer. It's a cold winter night and Lottie has found the perfect spot for stargazing. Wrapped up warm in her jacket, hat and boots, Lottie feels as though she can see all of space through the lens of her telescope. The sky is full of thousands of twinkly stars and Lottie is excited to explore the beautiful night sky and learn about the star constellations and planets. If she's lucky, she might see a shooting star. I mean, that gives you a little link saying, learn more about astronomy, go here. And it's just, it is the kind of doll that moms do. Moms who like to read, moms who love the old-fashioned way that a child should be able to play with her dolls. Um, that they're not ready to grow up yet, there's plenty of time for that. Um, they are award winner for positive role model. Um, this is all recyclable, the boxes, so you can use these for other things if you wanted to. But they do all show a little thing on the back. It's really great. Okay, Finn. Everybody wanted a boy. Everybody wanted a boy in the series. And it took a little bit of convincing, but I think we finally got him. He has side glance eyes. They're green. This is not the outfit he comes in. He came in this outfit with a vest and a kite. This outfit is one that you can buy separately. 
and it's his fishing outfit. Now he has deck shoes on. They're cute, they're plastic, but they're adorable. He also works the same way as the girls do, two-point click system. He has a side little boy cut. He's really cute. He's the, whoops, I dropped his shoe. He's the kind of friend you would think that Lottie would have. And I love that his name is Finn because then it just gives me the whole idea of Huckleberry Finn and the adventures and Tom Sawyer. So I'm sure a lot of his stuff is based on, you know, male models um, of literature. So um, his legs do go as far as this way. They go out, they go back. As far as bending, he does have a waist that bends. He sits pretty well. Um, so this is the line of Lottie Down. As I said, they're supposed to be body proportionate of a nine-year-old. These are the kind of dolls I like to give as gifts because they're not overly glammed. Uh, they don't have a bunch of parts that are going to break on them. And like I said, just for the clothing alone, they are really a good deal. So go and check Lottie.com, um, see when the chapter books are coming out. Um, it's a very nice company. They're doing a lot. Uh, they have a, a club, a Lottie club that's for moms that can put their input on what they want their daughter to play with or what they'd like to see. So join the club. And um, I will try to take some pics of these dolls and uh, I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching.